It's Mike at Moto IQ, and today we're going to talk about correcting your suspension geometry. Now, a lot of you guys modify your suspension for better handling, drifting, time attack, track days, whatever. Um, so most of you have the usual stuff, coilovers, anti-sway bars, bushings, or even spherical bearings, but not a lot of you have corrected your geometry. And that's kind of like the next step in handling and it's really important and it can make a really big difference. Now I'm going to be talking about white line stuff a lot today and there's a reason. Um, you know, there's a few companies that make bolt-on suspension geometry correction parts, but it's usually companies that specialize in one particular brand or type of vehicle. And, um, you know, they make a few parts just for that vehicle. If you have some other kind of vehicle, you know, tough. But White Line has an entire line of geometry correcting parts for uh, most popular performance cars that have a geometry problem that can be fixed with bolt-on parts. So I'll talk about some of the common geometry issues and some of the stuff that White Line probably has to fix your car. So the first problem a lot of people have is when they lower their car, uh, you get into bump steer, uh, your camber curve gets messed up, and your roll center gets messed up. What happens is um, your control arms, like let's say at stock, there's something like this. Uh, when you lower the car, they get like this. And if you have like a, you know, that's like a McPherson strut, but in the multi-link, it's the same thing going on. So, you know, multi-links aren't immune to it either. But, um, White Line has stuff to fix uh, multi-link and McPherson strut, but for now, let's talk about McPherson strut. That's the most common. Uh, what happens is when you lower your car, of course, you're lowering the center of gravity. So you think, you know, that's gonna be awesome. You're gonna get less roll and all that, but it's not necessarily so. Uh, what happens is your roll center changes and the distance between your roll center and your car's center of gravity changes and gets longer. Uh, when I'm talking about roll center, that's the geometric point in space that your car rolls about. And um, you know, the, the way you can calculate it is you extend um, imaginary lines to your suspension pivots, bring them out somewhere in space, and then go from your tire's contact patch to that uh, point in space and where the contact patch lines meet, that's where your roll center is. And, you know, if you have a multi-link, it's sort of the same thing, except you have an upper, upper element too. Um, but when you lower the car, um, those lines uh, get quite a bit lower and the uh, roll center gets a lot lower. And the distance between your roll center and your center of gravity, which is called the roll couple, increases. Now the roll couple is a lever arm that centrifugal force can use to roll the car. So your CG might be lower because your car's lower, but your roll couple gets longer quicker than your car gets lower. So you have more of a lever arm to uh, roll the car over. So the car gets sloppier handling and um, you know, you transfer weight more quickly to the other side, which isn't necessarily what you want. The other thing that can happen is bump steer. As all your links um, get into the uh, compression end of travel, um, the orientation between your tie rods and your control arms can get into a non-optimal pos position and you get bump steer. Uh, that's when your tie rod arc goes through a different arc than everything else. And as your suspension moves, your wheel moves with no steering wheel input, you feel it as squirreliness or instability, um, but it's bump steer. The other thing that can happen is if you have a McPherson strut car, uh, once your lower control arms start getting past here, um, the strut can kind of reverse on itself and you start gaining positive camber. And that's not what you want, because as the car rolls, you want to keep the tire contact patch flat on the ground or even with some negative camber you don't want to lose negative camber and have it start to roll positive when the car is all healed over. So those are the problems that uh, excessive lowering can cause. 
And here's what white line can do to fix it. Uh, the first thing they have is extended ball joints. Uh, these ball joints bring the uh, outer pivot of the lower control arm down lower. So you know like when the car is lowered and the arms are going like this. This is all exaggerated, of course, but um, these uh, extended chain ball joints will bring the orientation of the arms lower and move the lower pivot point lower. This in turn will restore the roll center to a more OEM-like position even in a lowered car. So you can have low car, low CG, small roll couple. That's pretty awesome. Except you can't just do this by itself because you're changing the orientation of the tie rod ends to the ball joint pivots and that can contribute to bump steer in its own. So for cars that have um, uh, extended ball joints, well, White Line also makes extended tie rod ends to uh, proportionally drop the tie rods um, in proportion with the uh, ball joints so your bump steer stays good even if the car is lowered. Another thing they make quite a bit of is uh, anti-lift kits. Typically this is your all-wheel drive cars like Evos and STIs or some front-wheel drive cars even. Um, these cars can have a lot of uh, what you call anti-dive in the suspension geometry. Uh, this is so you can have a pretty softly sprung car and when you slam on the brakes the car is not going to dive and the back's not going to pop up like a stink bug. This is um, a way of uh, putting kinematic bind in the suspension to uh, have a, a resisting force for the tendency to dive. This way you can get um, good platform control under braking without having to have really uh, stiff suspension. Uh, the problem with this is um, the uh, anti-dive also causes pro-lift. So when you're accelerating, and if you have a powerful front wheel drive car or all wheel drive car, the drive torque makes the front of the car rear up, get all light, um, and uh, doesn't feel too good. Uh, also the anti-dive geometry, when you're uh, driving really hard and let's say you're trail braking, that, that kinematic bind in the suspension can also increase your front wheel rate and cause your front outside tire to run at a higher slip angle causing understeer. Now a lot, of you, a lot of you use trail braking as a tool to transfer weight in the front and help reduce understeer, but then when the anti-dive geometry is countering that, it makes the car um, you know, behave less predictably, uh, especially if you're a good driver and you have these weight transfer tricks in your toolbox. So what White Line does is they, uh, they make uh, brackets to uh, change the angle of the lower control arm to get rid of uh, the anti-dive geometry and uh, the pro-lift geometry. So the geometry is more neutral. Uh, then you control your dive and all that with uh, good quality coilovers and good damping. This gives the car more predictable handling. Uh, it won't tend to understeer under trail braking and it won't rear up under acceleration. You know, those of you that have like an Evo or STI with probably 400 wheel horsepower know exactly what I'm talking about. Or a lot of you guys with hot front wheel drive cars, you probably know, you jump on, the front, com front, front comes up, weight transfers to the rear, you start losing front traction. Well, uh, these help a lot. So they change the orientation of the uh, control arm and it gets the anti out. Um, if your car has that problem, uh, White Line could have a bracket for uh, control arm relocation or bushings with off-center holes. It depends on your application, so check out their website. If you have a Subaru, these happen to come off a, um, like a GD Super, Subaru, it looks like. They make a kit that has extended ball joints, uh, these anti-lift control arm brackets, and um, extend, extended control arms. Uh, this takes care of all the geometry issues in your front. It's pretty inexpensive and makes a pretty big difference. Now, White Line has just come out with a cool kit for the new Honda Civics. Um, it's a 
extended lower ball joint. So it uh, replaces your factory lower ball joint. It has uh, this cool bracket with slots so you can adjust your camber. You can add more negative camber at the bottom. Uh, you can have your car lowered and the longer shank corrects your roll center. And uh, you have these extended tip tie rods that um, you know, correct your bump steer when you're running those. So it, it uh, takes care of a lot of issues. I know the new Civic is pretty popular and I, I, I can tell you it makes a pretty big difference. Um, you know, we did a pilot install in our shop and we measured the bump steer and the bump steer curve was really good. Uh, so it'll help your front stick. Um, you know, like I use these as demo Subaru tie rods, but you know, the concept's the same. Now, if you have a uh, VA or VB WRX or STI, uh, Subaru makes these awesome forged aluminum lower control arms. Uh, you know, like if you have like a 2005 GD STI, uh, you have forged control arms, but then Subaru went through some cost cutting measures and they discontinued the forged arms. Well, this upgrades your inexpensive stamped steel arms to uh, light, more rigid, cool looking forged aluminum if you have one of the newer WRXs. And this control arm takes care of a lot of things all in you know, one kit. Uh, first, you have uh, nice hard urethane bushings. Uh, this gets rid of the compliance, especially with this back guy. Uh, this back guy uh, causes a lot of toe change under braking. But uh, White Line has gotten rid of all the gushy rubber and replaced it with urethane with a bearing in the middle to give it articulation. Uh, it's, you know, really nice. A lot of, uh, you know, if you replace this with a solid puck of urethane, you would have a lot of bind. But this gets rid of the play without the bind. And it also, um, you know, the bit of urethane uh, absorbs a lot of that MVH vibration that you can get with spherical bearings. So it's a really nice unit. Another thing you might notice is the uh, mounting point is offset. This uh, cants the uh, control arm outward and it also uh, tilts the strut and the spindles uh, more forward like this. Uh, this gives you about three quarters of a degree or so more uh, positive caster and it also gives you more trail. Now caster uh, gives you more straight line stability and it also gives you negative camber as, on the outside wheel as you turn the wheel. So it also helps your turn in and it helps uh, keep the tread flatter on the ground while cornering, but you know, not doing so much when you're going straight. So more traction without affecting your tire wear. Uh, the addition of more trail gives uh, more self-aligning torque. Think of trail as the offset that shopping carts have in their casters. Um, it, it tends to keep everything in line, so the trail gives you more straight line stability. Also, uh, caster does the same thing. So you get better cornering, more straight line stability with no uh, bad effects on tire wear. Another thing is you can use these spacers and um, put them on the rear pivot. And this acts like a uh, anti-lift kit too. And you can kind of tune it by swapping these different heights of spacers around. So you get, um, you get uh, more caster, better part, less deflection, and anti-lift all in one package. I mean, if uh, I had one of those uh, Subarus, I would get this for sure. I think it's a really cool thing. White Line makes stuff for all sorts of cars. And uh, if you have a car with like a live axle with like a four link or a five link, if you count the Panhard rod or Watts linkage or whatever, um, when you lower those on some cars, the angle of your four link, like if this is the rear differential, when you lower it, the arms start going like this. What that does is um, it, it brings the lateral instant center back and down. So the uh, torque of the engine wants to suck the car down when you're doing sudden acceleration, especially from a dead stop. Um, 
you know, this uh, binds up the suspension, um, which reduces traction, and it also gets to where you can get wheel hop real easy. You know, that's why you see like a lot of pro stock cars, they have the uh, four link, it's all adjustable. So they can adjust that according to track conditions. Well, for um, Mustangs with live axles, White Line has this cool bracket that um, corrects the uh, angle of the uh, lower, lower links when the car is lowered. It, you bolt this in place of the stock, the stock mount and then it drops the mount down. Now I don't have that here, but they also make the third link that raises the front. So you know, you're know you um, dropping the back, raising the front, and you're correcting the geometry of the four link. So you eliminate wheel hop and you get a lot more traction off the line. Also, when you're going around the corner, you're feeding in throttle. You're not like sucking down the car and binding it up. Like the back end's more free to do its job. So. It helps your drag launch, uh, helps your cornering, it's all good. White Line probably makes this for other cars. Uh, just the Mustang is the one that comes to mind. They also make a similar product for the A86 and you know, I don't have their whole product line uh, me memorized, but probably other cars too. So this might sound like, like a White Line commercial, maybe it kind of is, but what we're talking about is no other company but White Line, to my knowledge, makes a, such a broad um, line of geometry correcting parts for uh, so many different cars. So like I said in the beginning, um, if you have a performance, uh, popular performance car that has a geometry problem, White Line probably has the stuff that can fix it. So if you like this content and you want to see more, um, be sure and subscribe. Uh, we have a uh, membership thing now, and if you want to contribute to us, uh, go click on that. And there's benefits to being a member. Uh, you get to see content sooner, and uh, you probably will get a nicer, less sarcastic answer to your technical questions and other benefits. So check that out. Um, if you want us to work on your car or build your motor, go to MotoIQ.com, uh, click on our garage services link and fill out the form. We'll get, we'll get to you. I mean, we get a lot of them every single day, so sometimes it takes a while to get to them all. Um, go to MotoIQ.com and check out like 12 years of technical articles. If you have some kind of car or some kind of technical question, there's a good chance we answered it there and we have a lot of stuff about whatever you might be curious about. So until next time, uh, we'll see you later.